and gentlemen, up next, please welcome Rodrigo Faria. Uh, today's discussion will be developing uh, your own plugin. Um, and a little bit about uh, Rodrigo. He's been a member of the Nagios community and has 15 years of experience in the telecommunication industry. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for uh, Rodrigo. Thank you. So today, we are going to talk about how to develop your plugin with a little bit of knowledge, right? And maybe you can see three steps to develop it to get the uh, best way or the easy way to develop your own plugin, not needing much knowledge. Here we have three ways. The first step is declare and get information. When I need to uh, monitor the system, I need to think to, oh, I need to get information. I can get information from file, I can get information from URL, I can, can get information from SNMP get or other ways. And the second step is the core plugin you can make decision or okay or warning or critical and the third step is output output you can have only the graphs you can have only the, the print or you can have um, okay critical red or, or uh, yellow only to explain to developer plugin you need to understand that nagus understanding 0, 1, 2, and 3, okay? And now I talk about 0, 1, or 2. 3 is not needed to talk ab about it now. Okay, code flow example. Code flow example, you have Nagus process, and Nagus process runs commands, and Nagus process c com commands dot cfg and when nagios command call plugin run commands call plugin plugin run script in monitored system and monitored system returns the script to plugins and plugins return 0 1 2 or 3 of course is more have more but only to explain um, the simple all right the first example it, is real estate agents. Real estate agents need, uh, the boys don't like to uh, use the paper re report, right? They need use Nagios, no, they, uh, he, don't, he don't know about Nagios, but he wants to see the sales in big screen, right? And the system, the a real estate agents have one system that have information. And the system writes every time in one file. In this case, I read only the file, not get information from URL or SNMP get or other others ways. Here is an example to get information. You can use uh, SNMP get or W get or query DB have other ways to get get information like NS clients plus plus or NRPA or other ways. So to start your plugin, you need put the read header PHP script right. You need get information. In this case, you get one fi file variable, receive the content file. In file, have the information of having or information sales. This only the information sales. And variable receive the information sales. And now you can declare the goal. Goal is that the sales manager wanted, right? You can see the sales, may, uh, sales manager uh, wanted uh, your goal. 
you can division to get percentage. It's sim simple calculator, right? And now, the simple script, you can see. If you have more than, more or equal 60%, that's OK. Go reach it. You have zero to return. You have OK. If you have between 30 and 60, you have warning. If you want developer plugin, you can copy the the simple script to use for you. And lastly, if you have less 30, the goal not yet reached. Now, uh, here you have the rules to print the output performance. In Nagios XI, you have um, automatic, automatic method, if you have in your script the rules, the graphics appears automatic in your system. One example, you, you, you understand it better in next, sli next slide. One example, if you have only the simple script without output, you don't have uh, graphics. But if you put the output, right, you can follow the rules. The goal, right, label, you can back, label, and current value, that is percentage, right, the variable percentage, and you have Uh, the unit, in this case, is the percentage symbol and warning threshold, critical threshold, minimum and maximum value for me, the scale. And in Nagios XI, if you don't have, if you don't have performance output, you cannot see the icon. If you have output, Nagios XI generates automatic, automatic icon. What can I do? You can see graphics, because Nagios XI understands graphics when you put this, the, the parameters. And now, in Nagios 2012, uh, I use it with Nagvis. I will explain more for you. Why use Nagvis? Because in Nagios 2012, no have gadgets. And I spent a lot of time to build the panel. But in Nagios XI 2014, I have good gauges. And you can see go daily or, or go monthly, percentage, right? And to understand it better, when you have uh, 13 or 16 is the same color here, starting warning 13 and 16 critical. And scale, the last scale, you have zero until 100%. Okay, second example is the interesting example. I have a partner from Brazil that use the build one box that have many sensors, AC, DC sensors, alarm, or sorry, stay in Portuguese, or temperature and other other things. But my challenge here is my partner told me, Rodrigo, I need. Uh, provide SNMP information for my customer because my customer have uh, others, because my customer needs integrated with other uh, monitoring solutions like Nagios or other solutions. In this case, it's, it's very funny. I use the check MSSQL, I modify a little, 
I don't explain more about it. I use only to get query in MSSQL database. And when I get query in MSSQL database, I can see the output. But my part partner told me, oh, Rodrigo, here is temperature or DC, AC voltage, or depending of the, the, the field. And I put the script in cron job to, to, to create output in the file. And after, I configure snmp.conf to use extend snmp. If you have asked about extend snmp, my recommendation is see the last presentation from Mike Weber. Mike Weber has a good presentation about an SNMP extend. And now I configured S SNMP extend with what's logical here is the name customer, is the MAC address, a device, right? And dot number one. Number one is internal battery. And number two, number two is external battery or power or the last is temperature. If you can see, I execute cut command to get information. If the cut command, uh, the parameters, I get the result. One, three, four. One, three, four, stay here. And the cut get the specific information. Now I have information on the file. And now I need check the answer SNMP. In my case, I need restart SNMP after put the information. And when I test the SNMP answer, I have the information. Maybe I have more, but I have only SN one, two, three, seven SNMP extend only. If I have more, I have more output because I made query in the, in the root, root as NMP extends. And for better understanding, for give information for our, our customers, I need to translate XNMP extends. I need to translate with on. If you use on parameters in SNMP walk, you have the crazy number, <laughs> but I need to get only information. Uh, first time, the information stay in degree Celsius, but I change it to degree Fahrenheit. It's more common here. And now, I created my script. My script, my first script is shell script. My shell script run SNMP walk to get OED, to get temperature information. And first step, again, my variable receive execute my script to get temperature value and put inside variable file. And now I have the simple, simple script. If you have less or low 80 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, temperature is okay. If, you, if not, you have temperature high. I use uh, the model to monitoring free, freeze, freeze, to monitoring uh, ice cream freeze. And the big, big company in Brazil, like, uh, like Best Buy, but, but have other things, like uh, uh, Walmart. Here, the same way, to get the output performance. Conclusion, you can de develop your own plugin. You can see my presentation, copy the simple code, you can change if you uh, want a monitor percentage is good because the, the script stay, stay, uh, stay good for use and we will be create 
use Nagios Excite 2014 to the best visualization because it's automatic when you put the out output performance parameters. Rodrigo, does anyone have any questions? Uh, anything at all that we can ask him while he's here? I have a question. Do you have anything that you're currently working on? Something exciting and new and maybe something you'd like to share with us possibly? Anything um, in the future that you're working on? What? I, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> well, just I guess uh, just anything new that I guess you're working with uh, for the 2014 uh, kind of season. Anything with Nagios or um, any special projects maybe? Special projects? Mm. No, I'm not good to speak now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank you for your time. I, uh, it was very informative. Uh, everybody, please give a big round of applause for, again, Rodrigo Faria. Thank you.